Welcome scientists, it's Miss Gisa. Today's read aloud is called Monarch Butterfly and it's written by Gail Gibbets. A monarch butterfly settles on the leaf of a milkweed plant. She gently presses a tiny egg onto one of its leaves. The egg is the beginning of another monarch butterfly. It's summertime in the north. A breeze stirs the stem of the milkweed plant. The monarch egg is white and shiny. It is the size of a small dot and sticks to the leaf. When the butterfly lays the egg, she makes it sticky. Wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. In a few days, the egg hatches. Out crawls a small caterpillar, also called a larva. First, the caterpillar eats the eggshell and chews away at the milkweed leaf. The egg of a monarch is almost always laid on a milkweed plant. The plant will be its food. The caterpillar eats and grows and begins to change. It breaks out of its old skin, showing a new skin underneath. This is called molting. For two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats. It molts about five times. Finally, it is a full-grown monarch caterpillar, about two inches long. Now, something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of a leaf. It attaches itself to the stem and drops down head first. The caterpillar's bright colors become greenish. Then the skin splits and moves up to the top. The skin falls off. A new, strange form appears. It is called the chrysalis or pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that is wrapped around the body growing inside. At first, the chrysalis is long and soft. Then it shrinks and hardens and becomes light green, decorated with gold dots. Inside, the monarch butterfly begins to grow. About two weeks later, the chrysalis changes again. It turns gray-green before becoming transparent. Inside are white dots and orange and black lines. The chrysalis wiggles, then it splits open. The butterfly begins to pull itself out. The head and legs appear first, and then the rest of it slides out. The wings are tiny and stuck together, and the butterfly's abdomen is big. The abdomen becomes smaller when its fluid is pumped into the wings. The wings become bigger. A caterpillar has turned into a butterfly. This is called metamorphosis. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours, waiting for its wings to dry and harden. At last, they begin to move slowly and then beat faster and faster. The butterfly flutters up toward the sky. Monarchs have a bad taste and will make a bird or animal sick if they are eaten, so most of them are left alone. There are many parts to a butterfly. The scales of the wings make up the colors. The feeler, or antenna, is for touch and smell. The tube to the mouth is called a proboscis. It sucks up sweet juice called nectar from flowers. And you can also see the butterfly's leg, abdomen, and thorax. The monarch butterfly only flies during the day. When it rains, the butterfly stays dry hidden under leaves. Fall is on the way. Soon it will be cold. If the monarch butterfly doesn't fly south, it will die. Once again, it darts up into the sky. The butterfly will take a long trip to a warmer place. This is called migration. The monarch will fly to where its ancestors have always gone, sometimes to the very same tree. Other monarchs keep appearing, making a cloud of orange in the sky. At night, they rest in trees. 
sometimes they fly up to 12 miles an hour and almost 100 miles in one day. There could be over 1,000 butterflies traveling together. They fly to places such as Florida, Southern California, and Mexico. Some butterflies migrate 4,000 miles. They will stay south throughout the winter. Some towns and cities are proud to have the butterflies visit them. They have festivals to celebrate their arrival. Children dress up for parades in butterfly costumes. Sometimes there's a band and visitors come from all around. Monarchs can cluster together, thousands of them clinging to one tree, a butterfly tree. In the spring, these butterflies will migrate north again to the fields of milkweed plants. On the back, it shows you some ways to raise a monarch butterflies if you choose to do that. Now, let's go do an activity together. Okay, let's review the life cycle of a butterfly. If you take a look at my poster here, the butterfly lays an egg on a leaf. And if it's a monarch butterfly, it's specifically a milkweed leaf. And then out of the egg hatches a caterpillar. And then the caterpillar turns into a chrysalis. Remember, it hangs upside down. And during that time, it's very still. And then finally, it turns into a butterfly. I'm going to use my butterfly replicas here so that we can go over the life cycle. Can everybody read my word? Butterfly. That's right. It's made up of two words, isn't it? Butter and fly. Butterfly. So you can all shout it out. What's the first stage in the butterfly life cycle? That's right, the eggs. And you can see the little eggs. And then out of the eggs hatch the little teeny, teeny, tiny caterpillars and they instantly start to eat the leaf that they're on. And then as they're eating their leaf, they get bigger, right? They eat lots and lots and lots of leaves. And then once they've eaten enough, they form a chrysalis. And then out of that chrysalis, they turn into a beautiful butterfly. And they wait when they first hatch out of the chrysalis, don't they? They wait and let their wings dry before they fly off. Then one day, the butterfly will lay more eggs and the life cycle will start over. Have fun with your life cycle activities in your pocket. Remember to hit that like button and push subscribe.